Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to go over four things of what not to do on TikTok. Now these four things could potentially hurt your views and destroy your account altogether. So avoid these four things at all costs. Number one, don't be inconsistent with your posts and don't take a break. I know this one personally. Back when I was consistent with my posts, posting two to four times a day over the summer, I was getting 10,000 to 100,000 views per day. But I took a three week break and it really hurt my views when I first came back and it took me a couple weeks to get back to where I was at. And now I've been even more consistent and took even a longer break. Um, and so my views are really low compared to what I was getting before. Um, and who knows if I could get back to where I was at. I'm, I'm going to be more consistent on TikTok. But it's, who knows. It could take a month or it might not even come back to where I was at. So be consistent. I get if you need to take a break. But I won't take any longer than like a week break. Other than that, just be consistent with your post. I recommend about one post a day. Number two, do not post a link or URL for your Twitch or for your YouTube. Anytime I personally have posted my Twitch link, like twitch.tv slash b.cole or YouTube dot com slash b cole i have gotten like a quarter of the views i normally get and i've seen a lot of friends and other creators uh, that will post their twitch or their youtube url uh, and get hardly any views comments etc now we know tiktok reads the text and not only the caption but on, on screen text itself um, because they can they'll flag videos or take videos down based on certain keywords and so i will not be surprised if if they see uh, twitch.tv or youtube.com and flag that and hurt your hurt your uh, viewability and they do that because they want you to stay on their platform the more you're on their platform the more ads you're going to view the more money they get but there's some ways around this so you can post like ttv or or yt i've seen some people do that and, and not hurt their views or you can put the url in the comic section of your tiktok um and i've seen people do that and it hasn't hurt their views either number three do not have an ego what I mean by do not have an ego, uh, that means don't think you're too good to follow someone or to respond to a comment. I see a lot of people, whether it's a video with just a couple hundred or a viral video, not respond to any comments. Responding to comments develops a relationship with your audience. They feel closer to you and they feel more inclined to engage with you and comment on future videos. By not responding to comments, you're hurting yourself from having a uh, potential loyal viewer. So respond to as many comments as possible. I get it once you get to a certain point of virality that it's that you get so many comments that you can't respond to them all, and some of them are, aren't worth responding to. Um, but just try to do as much as you can. In addition to that, uh, don't be scared to follow people back. I see a lot of people refuse to go past a certain follower amount, or they refuse to follow fans. Um, however, don't do that. Don't have that type of ego. If someone is, is super loyal, there. They're commenting all your videos or liking all your videos. They're going out of their way. They'll go to your watch your YouTube videos or go to watch your Twitch stream. Um, and they're just engaging a lot with you. Feel free to follow them back. And I do that all the time. I follow a lot of people that have been loyal to me, that have shown me support. And by following them back, it's my way of supporting them back. In addition, you're, kind of, you're developing a friendship right there and a relationship with your audience. So just don't have an ego. Respond to comments. Follow people back. Don't be scared to do it. And last but not least, number four. Don't post average clips. I see a lot of people trying to grow on TikTok and they're just posting average clips. Maybe like a, a decent edit play uh, on Fortnite or it's like a, 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 a five streak on Call of Duty. Um, and it's nothing. It's something you do like two to three times a gaming session, but nothing too exciting. Nobody gets on TikTok to look at average clips. So stick with something that's informative like some of my content I like to do um, or entertainment. So comedy. There are some exceptions if it's like a spectacular clip, like a 1v4 clutch for the win in Fortnite, post that for sure. And I get that if you're trying to be consistent and you want to post as much clips as you can, um, just so you're, you're, you're being more active, I, I get that, but, but that's not going to help you. No one's going to, um, and actually it could hurt you, no one's going to sit there and watch it or like the video or engage with the video, um, which is going to hurt your, the algorithm and your account in general. Especially now, a few months ago, gaming TikTok wasn't as competitive as, as it is now. You have a lot of competition, so you need to be able to stand out with with better content that's that's entertaining, informative. Uh, but if you're if you're a top tier gamer and you're one of the best at, at the game that you play, like you're the best at Fortnite, you're the best at Call of Duty, you're the best at Rogue Company, then yeah, post your clips, show off your proof of work. But if you're not in that top one percent, I would I would focus on informative content or comedic content. So that's been the four things of what not to do on TikTok. If you want to know what to do on TikTok, at the end of this video, I'll have a YouTube video 
on tips on how to grow your audience with gaming content on TikTok. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm out.